All right, welcome back, fellow tarnished, to the to the playthrough of Elden Ring with Queen Delane, who is a pure faith incantation caster. I think we were stats. If you're in mind 2020, the rest are going to stay at 10. Faith, we're going to get up to 99. Vigor and mind will eventually end up at 40 and 40. So, so there, that's it. Equipment, um, no headpiece. I could put on one of the Godric soldier helms. She's got a bunch of those. But two things I'm trying to do right now, keep a light load, see if I want to play with a light load. Uh, but might not. But also, I, I prefer, since she's a queen, she's going to have a crown of some sort. Like a commoner headband or one of the celebrant things. So you can comment if you'd like to see if, um, you know, you prefer me staying at light load, trying that, or going with... Um, more armor and a medium load. Well, the nice thing about the Faith Incantation build is that it, all the weapons and stuff are very light. So you can be pretty armored up, which is probably how this will end up, possibly. And uh, if you, uh, like, so if you wanna play the strength build, what happens there, oops, I got 30, 37, is, um, what I gotta do, okay. When I play a strength build, you end up, <laughs> because the hammers are so heavy, to stay on a medium roll without getting too much endurance, you have to, you have to, uh, <laughs> you have to practically play nearly naked or very unarmored let's put it that way so let's uh boost our stamina and i don't care about charge attacks so we'll do that all right so what we're doing what we're doing in this this part is we're going to go up and um get darwell sorted out Let's maybe kill these guys first. Took that in the face. Found me a dagger. Try to shoot me. Sure, take that. Alright, and then after... Uh, Dara will... We'll, we'll probably go sort this thing out over here where that mage is and all that stuff. Um, I apologize if you guys can hear a dog barking bark in the background. The chihuahua upstairs is freaking out about something. Uh, but that is what chihuahuas do is they freak out. Notice the pit bull is just laying there making no sound. They are very sedate dogs. Um, I will say pit bulls have gotten a very bad rap in the press. I mean, they can be made mean, obviously. Nothing in a cell is no true justice. Yeah. No. This is where it ends for you. You. You're the man. All right. I think I missed him. That's where the light rolling comes in handy. I zapped him. Bloodhound Fang. So, 
the Bloodhound Fang is a very good weapon. In fact, generally in my quality playthroughs, I'm hard pressed to find a better weapon to use than that. Let's talk to Blythe here. It's funny there. Sometimes I forget to talk to him. I just go out and do my stuff, and then he's just. I get delayed on. Like Blythe isn't here where he's supposed to be, and I realize I left him here. <laughs> Didn't say anything to him. Right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Man, that's a tall it's dude. Not a man of my word. There's the moon. Here's your prize. All right. Oh, Thank yes. you. I should say. If you venture north to Rhea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you until we sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. Oh, I actually know what the thing was. Um, it's time we parted. I couldn't get the... Um, from EG, he did not have the thing available that reduces consumption of... Uh, focus points for your uh, skills. I went in the world and I realized I'd never talked to um, Blythe after that. Alright, let's get this guy. Missed him. What was he looking around at? Look, Wendy, I can fly. Golden Room 1. That was probably not worth it. Because it didn't really cost me anything. Alright. Anyway. I guess the point is I'm hearing the Chihuahua bark again. Uh, Chihuahuas are high strung and they're actually, they're actually, actually, in my opinion, they are a very mean breed. They're just mean and cantankerous. I'm not saying they're not lovable or anything, but, but uh, they're just high strung and really mean. Whereas the pit bull, now we've had we've had two pit bulls. Just the most sed I'm gonna try to stab him in the back. Most sedate, nicest dog you'll ever meet. Very low key. And they've taken a real a real ding in the press. And it, it's it's sad to me because they are such great dogs. Now you can make, and you can make them mean, just like you can make any dog mean. Now Chihuahuas seem like they're naturally mean. But here's the thing. If a Chihuahua gets mean with you and mad, it can maybe nibble on your pinky toe or something. They're not, they're not a big, I guess, threat, you know. And, but conversely, if you make a pit bull mean and it gets mad at you or whatever, or in defense mode, Defense mode is a lot of times what that is. Um, they, they're, you know, they're well muscled, <clears throat> very strong dogs, and so that they can do more damage. And so that's pr probably why they, people worry about it. The same as very similar with, uh, you know, Dobermans, German Shepherds. You know, they're they're generally. All those breeds are generally pretty nice. I think the pit bull is the very, is probably the most sedate of all of them. Um, oh, he went all the way down, didn't he? No, he's just down there. And uh, most even keel, I would say. Now I'll say this about pit bulls too. Both of them we've had. Um, they have serious FOMO. So <laughs> they want to be involved in everything you're doing and just have fun with you and love on you and be involved. And when you don't involve them, you know, you ignore them. That's one thing that's going to not, they're not going to do as well with. <clears throat> 
So I actually don't really understand, know what Mother Grabber, I did not want to get him first. I want to get him. Missed me. Take that. How dare you approach the queen? It's making me select the most useless targets. And that's, you know, that can be an annoyance. It's, that's actually why I believe that all those uh, little creatures around, they look like little sort of cross between a rabbit and a, uh, I don't know, a raccoon or something. But uh, what it does is it takes your focus. The focus you have when you, let's get this guy activated. <clears throat> like I had this guy targeted. You better get off me. Tell you what, boy. <clears throat> Alright, let's go see what we can do with the uh, mountain guy up here. So yeah, the, uh, the little <clears throat> creatures will take your, oh shit. Right in the kisser. Well, that was a good job in the lightning. So that's what that's what those little creatures do. Is you'll you'll kill one or you'll try to focus on a bigger creature. Great epee. Good for thrusting weapon. If that's your <clears throat> that's your game. I'll get all of them. Oh, just two. What are you doing, brother? Besides dying, there's your kidney. All right. So let's go see. Um. Let's just see about uh, selling up here. I actually don't care about our quest line with this character. So I probably will not do much on continuing it. Uh, Torn is freaking out right now. I did it with my mage because it's you know, probably import more important. Plus, I wanted to use the uh, Glintstone Crown, Azure's. Oh, hey, there's a wolves that are looking at me. That's interesting. The. Uh, You can, uh, with the incantations, it looks like I can be twisted in front of my horse and it would still, um, go the way I want to with the, with the mage. It doesn't do that. It makes you shoot it over the guy's head or whatever. All right. Now, the way I approach this is... I stand in support and let my wolves take on the flowers because um, they can't get poisoned. So 
So, yep, just like that. Uh, hit the wrong one. So, yep, take out the little ones. And the flower just killed all of my wounds. I just killed the flower. All right. Golden Rune 1. Miranda Powder. Immunizing Cured Meat. Uh, I usually do this by dropping down. No, I think I can get up here with... Uh... Nope, that's why I dropped down. I probably did every playthrough. Try to call the horse from there and didn't work. Let's see, if I miss this, I will fall to my death. I made it. Cheers, Lily. Not particularly worth it. Uh, I just fell off the wrong side. Okay, and there's going to we're gonna go back in there to to go down there and face pumpkin head. Uh, but first these guys out. Get the goods. Poison Bloom. Glowstone. That was underwhelming. That may well not have been worth it at all. Alright. So, we are going to go down here, make sure I can, I'm going to, I think I'm going to call up my, my rotted stray, just for giggles, and see if I can get him, um, get him worth rot. Really, what I should do is <clears throat> have my have my wolves. Um, I love the light, uh, oh wow, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, lightning seems to be the way to go. That's very good. I wonder, I think I might not. Just for the fun of the playthrough, I'm not going to introduce myself to Selen yet. I am going to go ahead and I'll wait until Celibus writes a letter of introduction. And then I'll go, I'll go see her. Because as a faith uh, person, I don't know that I would actually uh, care about being her apprentice. 
Uh, I, you know what? I feel weird about that though. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to her. And she can laugh at me about being dumb or whatever she's gonna say. There she is. Tarnished, are we? I wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Hi, Selen. Uh, I want to learn sorcery. A yen for Glimstone. Probably don't. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh, well, She's calling me dumb. She will defy nature with a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria as a reviled apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Yeah, because I'm setting her clothes on fire. Sure, I'll learn. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. But I'm not Very part of the Golden Order. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Okay. What do you got? Nothing I want to learn. Nothing I care about. Here you go. Is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Thanks. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't have enough to level up. So what we'll do is we will end it here <clears throat> and um, I will next go and try to rescue or free Fort, F not fair off, uh, Fort Height and uh, yeah, so if you would do a like and subscribe, wow, look at the, with that guy. I guess the lady just did. That was a pretty amazing build there. So, um, yeah, please do a like and subscribe. Comment if you would. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>